enjoy the evening with you. One of the most common questions we ask ourselves when we are in a new environment is how do I understand the identity of the people that I find in my new environment? So you want to access the identity. My name is Emmanuel Adeusi, and I'll be talking about deconstructing identity through music and language. And I'll be sharing my social experiment with you and my language experience. For someone who was born in Nicosia, schooled in Nicosia, graduated from the university that is centered in Nicosia, also married a Nicosian, and is working as a tour guide in Nicosia. Answering the question of deconstructing an identity in a new environment can be somewhat difficult. However, for someone like me, or a number of you who are seated here, whose identity are diverse enough, for example, myself, I had my grandparents from Ghana. I was born in the western part of Nigeria. I schooled in the eastern part of Nigeria. I lived with northerners for a long period of time. And currently, I'm in the Mediterranean. You would assume that this question of the constructing identity might be easy for me because of my level of contact. However, it doesn't seem that easy. There are certain things that help you to deconstruct identity. So I'd like you to think about it for some minutes. What are the tools and mechanisms that you use in deconstructing identity? How do you understand the new people? How do you access their identity? How do you get to penetrate a new environment? One of the most common ones is making friends. So as you're seated here this evening, I'm sure you've been making friends after this meeting, and you'll be getting to know a lot of people. And through making friends, you understand the value of people, you understand what they stand for, how they differ, how they differ from your own identity. Another part is watching movies. So when you go to movies, you don't just learn the culture of other people by looking at a screen and learning the characters alone. But you learn the culture of the foreigner sitting beside you, other people who share different identities, who are in the same hall with you. So you learn identity and you deconstruct identity through watching movies. What is the next one? Food. There are a number of people who love trying intercontinental dishes. I know there are a lot of people in this hall. And through trying intercontinental dishes, you discover that you understand why people do the things they do. You discover that culture and identity are embedded in inter intercontinental dishes. And this helps you to know why people do what they do and come close to them and understand them. And lastly, the very common one we all use is the language. So when you learn a new language, it's easy for you to access the culture. You understand why people say what they say in the way they say it. You understand even the intonations of people and what it stands for. So language is also a very important tool for deconstructing identity. I don't know what you might have been thinking of or the mechanisms and tools, but one of the things I would like to tell you is that according to Henry Longfellow, is that music is actually the universal language of humankind. And I'll say it again. Music is the universal language of humankind. On this basis, I created an hypothesis that music, music is actually a significant tool and mechanism for deconstructing identity. So, how do I test my hypothesis? Testing my hypothesis started 10 years ago when I arrived on the island of Northern Cyprus. When I arrived 10 years ago, I called a number of my friends and I told them, if we will survive on this part of the island, we need to deconstruct the identity. We need to understand the new environment in which we live. We need to understand the people so that we can come close to them and we can survive the island. So I said, we're going to carry out a social experiment. And I was able to sell the social experiment ideas to only eight of my friends out of the 20 I was talking to. Why? Because it seems to engage some level of risk. My social experiment in, in, involves going into the Negocia Center Center with my musical instruments, getting to the center of the city, and begin to play musical instruments. 
and begin to play different kind of African music and to understand how people react to this. What are the behaviors of the people in the city center of Nicosia when an African, a foreigner, comes to try to access their identity? So I managed to convince eight of my friends, and one of the, one of the good Saturdays on a summer evening, we approached the city center. As we carried our shekere, our samba, our piano, and our guitar, as we were moving towards the city center, we started seeing people gazing at us. Several gazes of disapprovals. We were really scared, not knowing what would be the end of our experiment. I encouraged my friends. I said, let's keep going, because I believe this experiment will always teach us a lesson. As we moved towards the city center, we saw a number of people still gazing at us, not knowing whether to tell us to go ahead or to stop. Finally, we got to the center of the city, and we sat down. Still a lot of people giving us disapproval faces. I told my friend, if we don't die today, then we're never going to die. But we'll get a very good result. Immediately, I told them, let's jump off the plane. We jumped off the plane, and we began to play our music. As we moved from Bob Marley's One Love to Toby Max Speak Life, we started seeing a lot of approval faces coming up in the Nicosia City Center. We were so excited and we were so happy because we started to deconstruct their identity. And what do you think we were observing? Our observations. We observed that rather than gazing at the skin color, they were focusing on the sound of our music. Rather than seeing us as strangers, they came close to us and they began to make friends with us. And rather than seeing us as entertainers, they joined us by snapping their fingers and clapping and joining our beautiful African music. This was an amazing experience for me. And this made me to understand that music is actually a great tool for deconstructing identity. After that, I had met a friend whose name is Samet. Samet told me, if you would deconstruct more identity, then I would like to teach you Turkish and invite you to Turkey. For three years, Sami taught me how to speak Turkish, and after three years, he invited me to Ankara. And that led me to my language experience. As I was sitting at the Ejan airport, waiting for my flight to go to Ankara, I met this middle-aged couple who had a son called Toprak. All of a sudden, while I was sitting there reading a book, Toprak shouted, Baba Puchur Kurku. My brain could not help but interpret to me that a four-year-old Toprak had told me that I'm a scary-looking fellow. While I was waiting to give a response, I heard the father scolding him, saying, Toprak, you don't call someone like that. He is just a human like us, so don't do that next time. I understood the father had corrected him very well, but I needed to play my part. I needed to disconstruct my identity towards Toprak. So I approached the little Toprak, I carried him up, and I said, Merhaba, Benim Adim Emmanuel, Nessesin. And all of a sudden, Toprak forgot how scary I was looking. And we jumped into conversations. We began to talk about how airplanes are so beautiful, how they were flying, and how we are going to enjoy our flight to Ankara. I knew I had taught Toprak something. That next time if he sees an African, he doesn't need to see a scary looking fellow, but to jump into conversations about how beautiful the world is. At the end of it, I took my flight to Ankara and I got to meet Samit. I explained my experiments, my experience to Samit, and Samit was so excited. And by that, I was able to go to other places in Turkey to have a beautiful experience in Ankara. That deconstruction of identity helped me to feel so comfortable in Ankara and enjoy my experience. So, what lesson have I learned? I've learned, and I know you have learned, that music is a great tool for deconstructing identity and language takes you farther. So if you have a skill, you should know that your skill is what you can use to deconstruct identity. Music is my skill, and I use that to deconstruct identity. Thank you.